back to my channel. So I am back today with a new video and I am so happy to be back filming. Um, I took some time off from filming, but I still was uploading consistently. So, you know, you guys didn't notice, but a few days ago was my birthday on Friday. Today is Monday that I'm filming this and this video should be going up tomorrow, which is my Tuesday upload. So yeah, but yeah, your girl had a little birthday. You quiet, whatever. Thank you guys for all the birthday wishes that you guys sent me on Instagram through DM and comments. It was like very, very sweet and I really appreciate it. And I felt all the love. So I really appreciated that. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram so you can stay up to date with my daily life, fashion, beauty, all that type of stuff. I'm on Instagram every single day. So you'll always be entertained. Um, my Instagram is at hey, it's Rocky with five Y's. I'll pop it up over here probably yeah so definitely follow me for the reels the photos the everything okay the everything and um tiktok is also the same thing if you want to visit me over there you know um with that said also if you like fashion beauty lifestyle content make sure to subscribe down below okay i do new uploads on tuesdays and fridays and yeah i just love to share with you guys so i think that is it for the intro my hair my makeup all that type of stuff my top what i'm wearing will always be down below and yeah with that said we are just going to get into the video okay so today we are talking about the ego official dupe or ego shoes dupe whatever their name is for the balenciaga lecagoli lecag lecag i'm not even gonna try to i'm just gonna put the name right here okay that bag um the bag has been all over instagram and pinterest and just everywhere that i've been seeing it it's such a super fun bag that i wanted to find a dupe for it because it's such an edgy bag i feel like it's not everyone's style and so the bag is actually supposed to be balenciaga's newer version of their city bag if you guys know the classic city bag that has been out for years that everybody loves okay including me i was thinking about getting a vintage city bag now that this has came out i think that i just might honestly i really love vintage city bags and i feel like this is the time to get one maybe possibly before the prices go up or something this lecog whatever is supposed to be a newer version of the city bag a more modern version it's crossbody it's edgy it's cool um yeah it's all it's all the things it's all the things so with that said i wanted to really try a dupe of this bag of the new balenciaga city la cag or whatever i really want to try a dupe of it because i wasn't sure if i was going to like the like just like it i saw it in person at Saks. if you guys watched my luxury shopping vlog then you saw it as well when i showed it in that vlog um when i was in Saks. i didn't try it on in Saks, so yeah because i just didn't think it was my style but i was like i saw this dupe on ego and i was like you know what i was like let me try the dupe right here because what do i have to lose it's under a hundred dollars um it's just a dupe so like a look-alike of the balenciaga bag and honestly this dupe is really good the first place i saw people getting this dupe was on tiktok of course like y'all i have been seeing so literally so much stuff that i buy lately has been from tiktok whether it's fashion food beauty home stuff like tiktok be having me in a chokehold okay like a real chokehold i saw this on tiktok and all the girlies were getting it it came in different colors it comes in pink green blue white black i think they even have like a sparkly one now on ego so there's so many different options for this just like how the bag is on balenciaga's website so with that said we're going to get into the review portion of this bag for the dupe and i'm going to tell you guys all the details that you need to know and yeah what i think about it first i will say that this bag um it's actually the version of the balenciaga bag that is like this bubblegum pink color and that has this um like animal print croc or like this animal croc type leather they do have a version of that for the balenciaga bag they also have it in just regular leather this one that the eagle dupe is is of the animal like croc print i like it it doesn't look bad on this bag but what i will say is that this bag is faux leather so just just something to make note of i do like that this bag can be crossbody as you can see here um it has this padded like shoulder strap just like the balenciaga one does and i really really like that because it kind of makes it comfortable when you put it on your shoulder i'll be showing you guys how it looks and everything on the shoulder but yeah it kind of like 
yeah it just it, it makes it more comfortable on your shoulder i feel especially when you're wearing it crossbody or if you have a lot of things in it what i also like about this bag is that and i guess about the balenciaga bag as well but for the dupe is that the strap here is really long just like the balenciaga and you can adjust it so i love that balenciaga and that this dupe made the bag ultra adjustable so it really can fit so many heights of girls and you can wear it however you want on the shoulder crossbody and you don't have to worry about it sitting up too high or sitting down too low like it's literally perfect because there's just so many holes that you can move it on um i have mine quite a few holes in as you can see because i like i like my bags to sit like kind of higher when it's cross body but not too too high to where i can't like access things in it so i really really like that about this i also love the hardware on it the hardware is super duper cool you have the studs just like balenciaga does um these are like a very like just regular silver stud sometimes balenciaga does like a kind of gunmetal or theirs are like a bit more textured and obviously a little bit more expensive looking but i feel like this honestly gets the job done and there's nothing wrong with it so i think that's really cool and i love that this bag also has this cute little tassel on the zipper i think it just adds a really cool detail and when you open it i still have the tag on mine so as you guys can see it's from ego and inside it's a nice pretty big space um and it comes with a pocket so you could put some things in. I think that's really cool. The zipper, you know, glides pretty nice and easy. So it's no like bad zippers or anything like that. I also love that you have this little pouch right here, this little coin pouch that you can just put, you know, like cash or cards in, coins, whatever, just to access really quickly and not have to go all the way inside the bag. And then you also have this mirror, super duper cute heart mirror that the Balenciaga one has as well. So. It's honestly a very, very cute bag. Um, I'm not sure what else to say for the review portion. Yeah, I like it. I feel like I enjoy it. I have not been, I have been thinking about not keeping this bag though for me only because I just don't feel like it's my style. So it's like, thank goodness I didn't get the Balenciaga one because what a waste of money that would have been for me. I think I just prefer classic bags. Like honestly, I just really prefer classics. I think they fit into my wardrobe better for me. And yeah, I think they just work better with my wardrobe. But I've been loving how the girls have been rocking this whenever I see it. I think it's super duper cute. And it's just like, kind of like funky and cool and different. So I'm happy that Balenciaga is doing different things. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the quality okay of this bag so i don't have like really like many bad things to say or anything i feel like the quality is pretty good uh like i said before it is faux leather and like the spo croc print um i feel like with faux leather the leather just looks kind of if you guys can see it just looks kind of shiny if you get what i'm saying like it just has a sheen to it that the balenciaga like you know that the real one does not have it looks more matte and like real leather of course and more softer and worn and all of that stuff and that's what i really like um i just don't like the look sometimes of faux leather i i feel like i don't know i just don't really like it it's nothing wrong with it and it, it doesn't even look like a bad quality bag at all like it really is not like a bad quality bag it, just, it looks like a regular decent bag i don't think it looks bad quality whatsoever so yeah i i just it's just me it's just me because i'm most of like all the bags i have are leather if they're not some type of cloth material or canvas or sequins or whatever but that's just my personal gripe but i will say that the faux leather on this bag isn't bad it's it's pretty constructed well it doesn't um look like very cheap or anything so you don't have to worry about that when it comes to this mirror on the side uh the my mirror came like a little bit scratched um to be honest just a little bit scratched but i feel like that's kind of expected like when getting a bag and ordering it online or whatever um but the mirror isn't the best mirror it kind of looks a little bit like a funny mirror so i wouldn't depend on it being like a super clear mirror to like check your makeup and stuff like that i don't think that this bag has that reliable of a mirror um maybe the balenciaga one does but i wouldn't say that this one does so i wouldn't depend on that other than that i think that this bag is really great quality the only little thing i will say that kind of bothered me a little bit but that's just because um i just like my bags at a certain standard and quality because it will just irk me and i'm like very 
picky about details like i'm a very detailed person again it's not a bad bag uh it's just that some of the like the the stitches yes some of the stitches they're a little bit frayed here and there in different places it's really hard to to show because honestly it's so small but just like that some stitches are just a little bit frayed like it's not perfect stitching like how it would be on an actual designer bag most of the time you know really that's it and that's really all i have to say for the quality of the bag other than that i absolutely love this bag i think it's a great bag again not like particularly my style but i think it's a great bag regardless and pretty good quality and very cute bag for a girl who wants to try out this style all right now we're going to talk about how i styled this bag today so i've i wore this bag out like maybe a week or two ago and i wore it out with like a plain white tee and like some shorts my hermes oran slides and the bag and it was really really cute and you guys saw it on my instagram and you really really liked it i'll pop a picture loved it okay i wore like some beaded bracelets too that i've been like very very into lately i'll link this stuff down below don't worry but yeah i really like that and i feel like the bag looks super cute when worn like casual um i've seen people dress it up as well and i like it that way too but i think that the bag looks very cute very very cute casual today though to style the bag for this video i was like hmm let's try it casual again but like a little bit more edgy or i guess casual type style i don't know so today i wore it with an h&m white ribbed tank i love these tanks they're such good quality guys like the best quality my favorite tanks so yeah i wore it with that and i decided to just put on some gold accessories i have this gold necklace um that i got recently just as like a little thing from shein i was just trying it out i have these um bubble bar earrings um just a little gold emerald ring my gold bangle that i always wear from mvmt so i have that one and then i'm wearing it with my black mom jeans from zara my zara has my favorite mom jeans and the ones that i wear most so yeah paired it with these i feel like these are kind of edgy because they're a little bit looser and everything and i decided to also wear it with my new sneakers that i just got from adidas they're the adidas aster sneaker super duper cute dad sneaker shoe type vibe so i just thought that was very cute with this bag and then i decided to put the bag on like crossbody with it but you could also wear it on your shoulder and i just thought that was a cute little vibe like that's how i would wear this bag but again like i don't i don't feel like i would get the most most wear out of this bag i feel like if your style is casual it doesn't even have to be casual i feel like if your style is edgy then you're going to love this bag like if you have an edgy style whether it's a dressy edgy or a casual edgy i feel like this is going to be your style like hands down again i've seen girly like girls wear as well and i'm a girly girl i definitely could rock this bag but it's like am i gonna get the most cost per wear out of it and i'm very big on cost per wear it doesn't matter how much the bag costs whether it's a 60 dollar bag like this or if it's a two thousand dollar bag or if it's a two thousand dollar bag i still want to make sure that i get the cost per wear out of what i'm buying and not just buying stuff just because like i want to buy stuff because i'm genuinely going to use it and love it and wear it a lot you know what i'm saying or or this that i could see fitting into my wardrobe for years and years and years to come doesn't matter the price i keep this mentality even when i'm thrifting y'all so it don't matter the price yeah that's pretty much all i have to say on this ego dupe of the balenciaga bag i really really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will definitely be seeing you guys next time in my next video on friday like i said if you don't already make sure to follow me on instagram at hey rocky with five whys and if you love fashion and lifestyle content make sure to subscribe down below remember all links will be below so yeah bye guys